Okay, folks, we're here for our Love Beer Show Saturday night here in Las Vegas again over at Cheers Bar. Got a lot of good things going on tonight. Right, Dameron? Absolutely. And, Excited. Uh, yeah, we're here on, uh, I guess it's a close to the year almost, you know, Christmas coming around the corner. And we got a lot of really good, uh, well, I guess you can call them Christmas type beers, kind of, right? Yeah. So, um, what do we got today? Today we're doing Lagunitas Brewery's Sensor Rich Copper Ale. Lagunitas. Lagunitas. There's, there's a great brewery. They're out in California, I believe, right? Petaluma. Petaluma, California. Yes. Nice place to be. Lagunitas. Uh, we, we met these guys over at the uh, Beer Fest in Lake Las Vegas first and just totally fell in love with their beers there. Yeah. Right? And have since gone to their website, checked them out. And the sensor stuff looks very interesting because I think the, um, the do you know what the sensor is all about? Yeah. Well, I think the story behind the sensor beer is that they had a um, they called it something different. I forget what they called it, uh, Perkin or something like that. And the some kind of a labeling agency thought it was referencing marijuana. Really? Yeah. And they wouldn't let them put the name on the label. So rather than just change the name of the, of the beer, they took the bottle, put the name on there, and plastered a sensor on it. They did. So these guys have a good sense of humor right there. Yeah, absolutely. But they have probably have an even better beer. Yeah, it's very good. Um, I just tried one. I uh, figured I'm going to give this a whirl. Yeah. It's only 6.7% alcohol by volume. Uh, it does run about 9 bucks a six pack. Um, you can get it at any liquor store easily. Uh, we're selling it here tonight, of course. It's just great. Um, okay. You can get them pretty cheap, probably about three, four bucks a bottle. All right, well, I think I'm going to try some here. Yeah, give it a shot. So this is a um, this is a multi. Uh, it's a it's a copper ale. Right? Copper ale. So it's not very dark at all. Let's see what this is all about here. So can you see that, guys? Here's the um, here's the pour. And yes, yeah. Let's see. Can you see that? Yeah. This is a really nice looking beer. Mm -hmm. Very nice. It's definitely flavorful. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, it smells very uh, very, very light and fruity yeah. almost. Almost fruity. I wish I had more all of it. Mm. Yeah, this is, it's not hoppy at all. Very, yeah, you can definitely taste the malt. Yeah. Mm. Whatever they're doing is working. You can taste it. Well, Lagunitas always does a good job. You know, but now, when I first found out about Lagunitas, I started drinking their, their IPA first, the, uh, the Lagunitas IPA. And it's a nice, smooth IPA for people who are just trying to start drinking the IPA. You know how the IPA is very bitter, it's got the hops, and a lot of beer drinkers don't really like right. it. You have to kind of, you know, acclimate yourself yeah, to the IPA. Yeah, it is the lighter right? side of the IPAs out there. The Lagunitas IPA is a great IPA to get into if you're not an IPA drinker right now, because it's smooth, and it's, it's yeah. not that, that bitter thing that you get from a lot of these other, it's kind of like a gateway, you know, like a gateway drug? Right. It's, a it's a gateway IPA. IPA. Lagunitas. Lagunitas. But the censored right here is completely opposite of the IPA, because I don't taste any, any hops at all in this. No, not at all. And uh, that's one of my favorite things is, uh, you know, I don't like too much hops in the beer, which actually I'm becoming more accustomed to drinking hoppy beer. Yeah. So I'm getting more of a, you know, custom taste of it. And it's really not bothering me anymore like it used to. I used yeah. to, I couldn't even drink an IPA. The stone was really hard for me to drink. The Lagunitas was a lot easier. Yeah. Um, Dogfish Head makes a good Dogfish, one. Dogfish, absolutely. Uh, There's 60 yes. minutes, really good. Yeah. Um, but I, I had a choice of picking beer tonight, and uh, I decided we were going to do it. I love Lagunitas. And, uh, oh, they're great. They're and, like, we've had really good feedback from them, so I figured. You know, considering the show, um, Sensor, come on, <laughs> how are you going to go wrong with that? Once you see Sensor, you almost have to yeah, drink it. I had to get the Sensor. <laughs> I mean, I, I had options, and lots of them, <laughs> and uh, you're going to see another one of the options I, I found um, also as well. Like but right now, um, if you get a chance to try to, I mean, if this isn't a seasonal ale, you can get this um, whenever, wherever you want, um, but it's very tasty. It's not too strong like some of the other beers we do, 6.7%. Right. Um, you know, you can drink a few of these sitting around with your buddies playing poker. Yeah, this is, this is outstanding. It's yeah, very, really, really good. Really good. I'm liking this. 
So have you been to the Lagunitas website? Have you looked at some of their their beers? And yes, everything? they have a great they have a great um, seasonal. Did you see the Lagunitas sucks? Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, great. Uh, yeah, they. Uh, I believe it was Lagunitas that uh, <clears throat> got flooded out. The hot fields. I yeah. believe it was them. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to guarantee that, but I, you know, I do follow them on Facebook and stuff, and uh, I believe their hot field did just recently get flooded out. Right. right. Um, also, I, I believe it's. They also lost a turkey. Two turkeys <laughs> around Thanksgiving. They actually have pets. Wow. Um, really? Farm animals on their brewery, uh, on the on their land, and uh, <laughs> two of their turkeys got jacked around Thanksgiving. So. Now, if you see their website, you see their fan page and everything. They must be a great company to work for because they they've got a lot of uh, good, great sense of humor. Yeah, they do. They are fun. Like um, I said, the, the Lagunita the sucks was amazing because I looked at it. The the actual beer is called that. Sucks. So, so when you say you know oh, what's a good beer and and, and they themselves well, are telling drink. I mean Lagunita well, sucks. Lagunita sucks. <laughs> right. So is a good one to try. Right. Wait, wait a minute. Right. You just said. It sucks. Uh, <laughs> and sure, uh, it doesn't. And on their fan page, they're highlighting some kind of cappuccino beer right now. Oh, really? So we'll have to check that out, too, when, when we get a chance. Yeah, I'm a chocolate fan, so, uh, you know, you got anything that's cocoa or coffee-like, I can drink that. These things right here go down fast. Yeah, they really do. They really do. Yeah, if you're, um, the, this is a copper ale. Uh, rich copper ale. Amazing. And like you said, you can get this... All year round, you said. Right? Yeah, all year round. Um, I, I've seen it before. I just this was before I was doing the show, and I wasn't really experimenting with a lot of beers out there. Right. Um, right. I've seen it, and you know, I thought it was cool and everything. But you know, like I said, I wasn't experimenting at that time. Mm -hmm. Just kind of sticking to my basics. And uh, now we've been doing the show, man. I'm I'm out there. I'll try anything. Same here. Yeah, Same I'll here. drink anything now. This I is mean, the best part about doing the show. You get to be exposed yeah. to all these different craft yeah, beers. Yeah. You, can, I mean, you can tell when we drink it. Just the reaction on our face, you know, the body language. Yeah, I mean, the more we talk about it, obviously, the more we like it. Yeah. Um, and we, we've done a few of Lagunitas beers. Yeah, no, um, we've, we've had them before. Yeah. And you know, also, they'll be serving the Lagunitas here at the, at the bar tonight. Yeah. So we're on this on a lot. And uh, yeah, yeah someone's, reading, someone's reading my Facebook page here. I <laughs> know. <laughs> so, um, anyway, um, another thing about this is, is, is the fact that Lagunitas in California is also a place we can go and, and visit. Yeah. Very similar to Ballas Point. I believe Petaluma is right? Is right outside of San Diego, just a little north. Yeah. Um, more inland, obviously, because, you know, it's a hot area. <laughs> right, right. Um, but, yeah, I mean, if you get a chance, you know, you're headed down to Southern California, I'm telling you, right now, I mean, we've, we've got a lot of breweries. Um, I've seen another one. Um, I believe, I think I want to say Buffalo Bills Breweries in California. Um, I'm not quite sure what the demographic is on that, but uh, I'm just seeing a lot of them. Every time I go into a beer store, I pull something I haven't seen and I look for the brew. Yeah. And well, we, we can start in Seattle and work our way down. And yeah, you know, the way we've, been them. we've really been really lucky with the beers that we're featuring. They, they're just, they've just been great. Yeah, absolutely. Really, they've been great. Um, if you've seen the show we've done at the high scores with Freddie Del Torre, um, He's shown us some stuff that's, I mean, everything West Coast, I mean, it's really good. Also, you know, there's Wisconsin and Texas right. and New Mexico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, well, you made a good point in the last show, because what I said was, you know, being from New York, I don't remember ever having the opportunity to drink these craft beers when I was living in New York. And I think it's because, like I said, you know, they probably had them out there, but we just wanted to do a show, you know, weren't exposed to them. And on that note, I did a, actually did a wine tour last night. I'm also a wine drinker. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did a wine tour last night, which was phenomenal. I'll tell you what, I don't remember much <laughs> after the whole thing. <laughs> but I was talking to some people on the limo, because it was a tour, and there was a group, it was a big group. And they were from like um, Connecticut, or um, that was one of them. Another guy was from like Tennessee. Well, they're telling me, I'm telling them about the beer show, and they're like, "Well, have you tried this and that?" And I'm like, "It doesn't come to the West yeah. because they have stuff out there that's just as good as the stuff we have out here, but we just don't get it." And the only way for us, obviously, to get it is to, for us to contact the brewery or maybe a distributor out there and have right. them ship us a box. Right, right. Or, you know, a keg or, you know, which is probably going to be costly. How about Nevada Beverage? <laughs> Those guys. Maybe we can, yeah, because they do follow us. Thank you, Nevada Beverage. 
Um, maybe we can get with those guys and they can start getting some of these mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Right, right. But, you know, it's so versatile. I mean, you know, everybody on the East doesn't hear 